from everybody's feelings and thoughts and I knew things before anybody else knew things and I would repeat something and the adults would like cut me off and I'm going what happened I'm just saying what my truth is and I was told not to say stuff like that anymore um, so I realized over time I learned to soften it or just hold it it within and that I felt like nobody could hear me or understand me um, much later, once I had my own children, even with p adults in that area, I would say stuff, truth, and they didn't like it either. <laughs> so it was a pattern. Um, so it's like, oh, nobody likes me. Ooh, ah. But I didn't understand why until I had an awakening where I met God. And January 14th, 1998 at 7.34 p.m. <laughs> um, they took me, the triangle, it was a blue triangle, white light in the middle of it, and then it had G-O-D. And my consciousness went through the O of God. And it happened so fast, I didn't know what was going on, but I felt this expanded state of awareness uh, the first time I ever felt peace in my consciousness ever. Um, once I was on the other side, it was entities were talking in each ear. They were telling me to open my eyes, open my eyes, you're here, you've made it. And then I had a bunch of beings in front of me. And uh, I finally did open my eyes. And the light was so bright, I couldn't adjust my eyes. And then I went, I'm scared. And I was getting like, it's okay, it's okay. And um, that's actually the first time I've ever felt comforted by anybody. And um, they said, well, you're here. You're in heaven. You get to ask us questions. <laughs> and my little self going, I don't know what to ask. And my heart actually jumped out and said, I don't trust anybody. Because nobody has been nice to me. Everybody has betrayed me. Nobody wanted to hear anything I had to say. And so they showed me people's hearts. And they look like suns to my eyes, bright, brilliant sun. And then they showed me the little uh, ring of Saturn around the suns, and it was around people's eyes. Their perception was clouded by the darkness or the density. It looked like dark rain clouds to me. And they made me sh show, they showed me. <clears throat> that it was just people's perception that causes their ignorance. And it wasn't personal to me. It was just a human condition. And then they had me take my awareness, uh, and I still had my eyes shut, but I could see these vivid people, the three people that were in my life, that are, is currently in my, not in my life right at this moment. One has passed over. One was my best friend when my children were young. And one was the guy that helped me transition from my divorce to my inspiration to find me and what this all meant. And um, they also showed me that I was that I could see in people's hearts, that I would see their emotions, I would see my emotions, and then I would see the divine plan in that events that happened. And I could hear the angels singing, the hum of the earth, the universe, whatever it was, I could hear, it was angelic. Uh, that was so comforting and such heart opening. 
um, that was the first time that I actually felt validated, loved, supported, um, that I was okay just the way I was. And they told me that they did uh, telepathy up in heaven. And on earth, they don't do telepathy. And there's no blockages in heaven. And there is blockages, how we relate to people on earth. And um, that all I had to learn to do was focus on the light. I would know everything. As long as I was in my heart, I would know everything. And um, so they had me look at the light again. And they finally got me to open my eyes full open. I looked up and I was outside of the world looking down. I wasn't afraid. And I could see the little pinpoints of light. And they said, those are the people's hearts. And you're going to go look into their hearts and go back home. And when I did that, I came back in my body. And... Um, my whole life turned upside down after that because I felt such bliss and peace and hope. Um, and then my, I'd started doing a life review, like everything in my life from being traumatized as a young child because I felt compassion for people. When they're sad, I wanted to help them. And the angels and God showed me that because I cared so much about people, that they took it as something different than what was the intention. And so it basically healed me, uh, and, and they told me I had two years' worth of um, karma, and karma meant, for how they described karma was, my attachment to the story of the events is karma. And once I let go of my attachment to the story of that, my life would take off. And um, I started being on this quest when I came back. And I could hear the angels talk to me. I could hear God talk to me. I knew things before they happened. And come to find out, I've always had that ability I didn't know what it was. They gave me the understanding. Yeah. And we're here to uplift, balance, stabilize, humanize the divine. And uh, zero tolerance for the bullying, the negative stuff. You know, it's not there. Yeah. And um, I feel first time in my life, I'm, I feel at home that I actually belong on this planet. <laughs> and I feel like I've worked through the first, the first, all the seven chakras all the way down to the first, working with Mother Gaia and the crystalline energy of the earth. Um, I feel the trees talk to me now. I feel the birds, the water. Eh. Uh -huh. And I honor all of that. And I could feel the love, how much they really, they're supporting where the, all of that is there to support us and me. And I believe that there's still lots of people that don't know about this. And I talk about it as much as I can. Yes. Because we're really, everybody is looking for community. And they, they're tired of the violence. Yes. So Definitely. we're ready for the next phase, then that's it. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. <laughs>